Kid Friendly Network is an organization that I started back in 2014, and it was just a way to bring the community together. There was a lot of different networking opportunities that you could be involved in, but I wanted to focus on the niche of working with children. For businesses from for-profit to non-profit, medicinal, social service, educational, entertainment, recreational, finance, food industry, retail, like how can we all come into the same space and share resources and work more efficiently? You know, we can't all do everything, but together we can do so much more. So we started very humbly, because this is just me going door to door like, hey, I have this idea. And um, no one really knowing who I am. There was about seven members that were like, you know what, that sounds like a pretty cool idea. Everyone knows that when they come here, if they've been trying to get in touch with an entertainment company or the food industry or a bank or the school district or the health, that they can do that when they come here. At least once a month, they have that opportunity to physically connect and share best practices and resources. The moment when a member will uh, ask me for advice or ask like who can they connect with to um, really assist them in their mission or their bottom line and to be able to be able to pull out this name out the hat that I know would be like just the, the most awesome connection. I love building those connections. It's meaningful, it's transformational, it's impactful. We're really making a change and a difference in our community. So in terms of challenges that kids may have, I mean, it really just depends upon their individual background because we all are very unique and different. Um, you know, we have some children who are uh, wards of the state and they don't really maybe feel that they have the same opportunities as other kids, but all of us could benefit from having an IEP, an individualized educational plan. Like what makes you different from the man sitting next to you or the female sitting next to you? Like what drives you? Where are your areas that you're struggling in individually, not based upon this curricula? And how can we best serve you? And so um, providing those type of resources for those kids to be able to excel where they're at and what they're passionate in, finding that. Because every kid has something that keeps them motivated um, and it's just tapping into that. We have this whole culture now of kids who are being raised by other organizations and people, like so they go to school for a set hours, and when they get out of school, they're either in enrichment activities or going to a daycare center or someone's having to watch them. We all don't have to do everything and be um, all knowing, but if we work together and we collaborate, we share resources and ideas, there's, there's enough for all of us to be great. A life lesson that I've learned and that I would want to share is that it's really important to help. None of us have all of the answers, but at some point in our life, you're going to need someone for something. And the more that we're able to engage each other and really develop um, relationships, it's not so much about the uh, organization or um, it's, it's about human beings. We are all human beings. So we all wake up, we all go to sleep, we all need to eat, we all desire love, we all desire respect, we all want someone to uh, really hear us. And so people need to kind of get step outside of their box and meet someone, talk to someone, develop a new network because that person might be your next blessing. And if you bless someone, I really do believe in it coming back at some point. Like karma, I really believe that, you know, the more good you put out, the more good you'll receive. And it just feels good to do good. <laughs>